Procedure steps Step 01 Ensure that you have the necessary equipment, a sphygmomanometer, a stethoscope, hand cleansing gel, Step 02. It is important when measuring blood pressure to build a rapport with your patient to prevent white coat syndrome which may give you an inaccurately high reading. Therefore, ensure you introduce yourself to the patient, explain the procedure answering any questions they may have, and ask for their consent. You should also explain to them that they may feel some discomfort as you inflate the cuff, but that this will be short-lived. Make sure they are sitting comfortably, with their arm rested. Step 03 As with all clinical procedures, it is vital that you first wash your hands with alcohol cleanser and allow to dry. Step 04 Ensure that you have selected the correct cuff size for your patient. A different cuff size may be required for obese patients or children. Step 05 Wrap the cuff around the patient's upper arm ensuring the arrow is in line with the brachial artery. This should be determined by feeling the brachial pulse. Step 06 determine a rough value for the systolic blood pressure. This can be done by palpating the brachial or radial pulse and inflating the cuff until the pulse can no longer be felt. The reading at this point should be noted and the cuff deflated. Step 07. Now that you have a rough value, the true value can be measured. Place the diaphragm of your stethoscope over the brachial artery and reinflate the cuff 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury higher than the estimated value taken before. Then deflate the cuff at 2 to 3 millimeters of mercury per second until you hear the first corot cough sound. This is the systolic blood pressure. Continue to deflate the cuff until the sounds disappear. The fifth corot cough sound. This is the diastolic blood pressure. Step 08. If the blood pressure is greater than 140-90, you should wait for one minute and recheck. Note that the normal reading differ for diabetic patients. Step 09. Explain to your examiner that you would want to check the blood pressure standing to check for a significant drop, 20 millimeters of mercury after 2 minutes. This would suggest a postural hypotension. Step 10. Finally, you should inform the patient of their reading, and thank them. If, after rechecking, the blood pressure remains elevated, advise the patient they will need this repeated in the future which ensures appropriate follow-up.